Hey Outlanders, <laughs> we hope that you can hear us and see us all okay, or like me at least first. Uh, I shall soon introduce the guests real quick. First of all, I'd just like to apologize. We have some technical issues, uh, so we are not streaming on Facebook today. Uh, but that's just a one-off. We are still streaming on Twitch and on YouTube. Um, okay, let's see. They said they can hear us all fine. Good. And now it's time to introduce all the guests. So we have Zbigniew, Zora, Philip, and Michal. Uh, you may have seen them before in the previous Dev Diary stream, so we hope that you uh, will learn more about Season 17 with us and its Update 17.0 Vigor Chronicles Malediction. Um, Alright, so let's probably jump into the game and let's have... Michal run around while we start on the topics. Uh, first of all, we'd just like to point out that this is actually the preview build, so no one else can queue up with Michal currently, just the partners and Vigor de developers, because actually update 17.0 will be releasing tomorrow. Uh, so you can look forward to it and it will come out and be available for the public tomorrow. Alright, um... So where shall we begin? Could we perhaps start with the battle pass and the new season cosmetics? M Michal, if you could please show off the battle pass while I redirect the, the focus onto Zora, who will mm -hmm. walk us through the new season's battle pass. So as you can see, the new battle pass is spooky themed. Uh, it's based on your, based on community feedback. So you can again, as usual, look forward for uh, 50 levels. And after completion of uh, all 50 levels, there is again a reward waiting for you. Of course, um, obviously we decided for this theme uh, because uh, the release date is tomorrow, which is uh, less than a week before the Halloween itself. Uh, 
and uh, the main main three characters, as you can see in uh, trailer in our trailer, are based on uh, real or fictional villains or evil. And yeah, uh, besides of the uh, battle pass uh, theme, we also created uh, assets for the Halloween event, uh, which is inspired uh, uh, by uh, Halloween movies or like spooky movies, horror themed movies, scary stuff, all yeah, all scary place. stuff, spooky, yeah, yeah. Scary. Pretty disgusting, but not too much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> enough, just the just right enough, amount. Yeah. Just the right amount. <laughs> all right, okay, uh, and. Actually, uh, while we're on the topic of cosmetics, uh, it would be great if we could show off the special helmet that was made for this new update. Um, it was also featured on our trailer with mm -hmm. the electrified... Um, what helmet. is the word? Yes, effect yeah. element. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you very okay. much. Uh, Mikhail, could I ask you to equip it, please? Uh, the account should have everything. Um, and Go in the to. meantime, while Michal is equipping it, maybe, Philip, could you quickly jump in into how the electric helmet works, like the technical side of it? I'm not going to get too technical, but yeah, sure, why not? Mm -hmm. uh, it's, um, it's a simple, well, simple, it's, it's an effect we added to uh, an asset, which is, uh, which might, it may, it may look too easy even, but... Uh, it's definitely not because there's a lot, th lot of things that uh, need to work properly in order to see it properly in a match and in shelter and uh, have have the right um, the right conditions upon it, it uh, upon which the effect is triggered. Uh, but it's something we wanted to try uh, for some time, but didn't have the chance the the f the room for it to try it out. But uh, our colleague fiddled around with it in his free time and found out that it's doable but then we tested it and tweaked it and we simply tried it with this simple with this simple effect on this on this one particular asset to see whether you like it whether you'd like to see more effects like that in the game uh, so far it just uh, so far it just proves that we are like able to work with it so right now we are waiting for your feedback for your reactions and uh, basically, if it's something if it's something you would like to see more in vigor or not. All right, thank you so much, Philip, for that insight. Uh, Michal, would you like to perhaps touch upon? Hmm, sh we should probably mention in a way what can trigger the helmet to yeah, well, look I mean, all electrified. Yeah, Philip can also mention something. I, I would say, um, I wouldn't give uh, away too mm -hmm. much information. I would uh, let the players to figure out themselves uh, what can trigger um, the cool effects. Um, I'm pretty sure that most of the stuff they'll find out just by playing the game. Yeah. Um, there might be a few specific kind of things, but uh, yeah, it's mostly up to you guys to, to figure out uh, what exactly happens um, and what's the story behind this, this uh, special cosmetic. Um, but yeah, let's just say that there are some um, extra um, electrifying effects that uh, you might be seeing uh, while you play the, with this cosmetic, so have fun with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, if you see this, uh, the trailer, you might have a sneak peek yeah. Yeah. Of, of, some of, hints. of some of the s specific conditions upon it, which mm -hmm. is true. Indeed, indeed. We actually uh, have a guest from the Twitch chat from Clumsy Mama. A kill, probably. Probably. <laughs> We'll see. You'll have to give it a try. And we've got some people saying, if you camp, it fries your brain. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. You'll have to find out and uh, let us know when you actually figure it out upon the update's release. Um, and real brief, I just wanted to jump in and say that we were able to resolve the technical issues on Facebook. So we started the stream on Facebook as well, uh, albeit Perfect. a little bit later, but it's better that we're late than never. So hello uh, to our Facebook outlanders as well. Hello, Facebook. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, pa -pa -pa. Let's see then. While... Um, I will I will return to the game and uh, let Michal continue showcasing some cosmetics. Uh, in the meantime, we should also touch upon the fact that we have a new charity veteran pack, although it's possibly not in the premium pack store yet. Mm -hmm. um, 
could we elaborate a little bit more on what the charity pack is mm -hmm. for? I mean, it's veterans, yeah. but yes. please, Zora, take yes. it away. Yes, yes, yes. There uh, is a tradition around the world where the veterans are celebrated and supported. And we think that uh, also in Czech Republic, we got uh, very interesting and uh, uh, like really, really good people. And uh, we would like to uh, like also give them the recognition. Uh, so uh, Bohemia Interactive is the uh, one of the main partners uh, of uh, this uh, thing, <laughs> event. A event of this event, and uh, uh, we uh, like uh, the income uh, of this uh, of this event and also of the charity pack uh, will go for to the uh, some specific veteran. So yeah, that's. It, I yeah, guess. it's it's not just vigor. It's basically all our games. Yes. So, uh, you can find it in in other titles, but in vigor, if you purchase it, uh, that's nice thing to do, and you will get uh, rewarded also with the assets. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So it is for a good cause. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much uh, for jumping in on the new pack, um, and we did have. I'm sorry, we did have someone in the chat ask about the new weapon uh, because they saw uh, Michal scrolling through the battle pass uh, <laughs> with the new Taiga 21. Uh, could I ask you to queue up for an encounter actually with the Taiga and then you can shoot around or you could um, shoot it in the weapon range as well but I think that it kind of showcases better if we are in an encounter. Uh, so, yes, there is a new Taiga 21. Uh, Philip, would you like to jump in on the specificities of the Taiga 21? Why not? Uh, well, as, as every season we are trying to... Uh, well, we, <laughs> we introduce every season a new weapon. And this time we went for something a little bit... A uh, little bit new, a little bit scary to some extent. Beefy. Not, not just Beefy. thematically scary. Not just thematically scary, but technically as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a new shotgun, uh, Taiga 21. And it's the first shotgun in Vigor we have that has a full auto firing mode. So with the hold of a trigger, you can empty, empty the, uh, all of those 20 shells in the... Oh, that look! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that looks uh, really scary. And... Uh, the rate of fire, the damage, everything has been has been uh, tackled in relation with all the weaponry we have in the game, uh, including including also the game pace, uh, the the other aspects of using weapon in encounters. So you might you might see that it v a lot of you gun freaks out there, I'm sure, but you you might you might see that uh, it. Ver it differs a little bit from reality, but then again, it still offers full auto mode. It does it does serious damage, and it's pretty effective in close range. That's the main premise we went for. We went some. We wanted something that when that that is really effective in close range. Even though we have shotguns in the in the game, so far we we have variety of shotguns, right? But uh, Taiga is something entirely different. It's even. It, it's even uh, more effective in close range than most of the weapons in regards with rates of fire and the damage it deals. It goes hand in hand uh, also with the fact that it's less effective in long ranges and longer ranges. The bullet spread, uh, the, the way that bullets spread from the weapon is, uh, is set in a way that uh, you should be pretty much very safe when you're in at long distance from a shooter holding Taiga 21. But on close range, pretty much kills everything. Yeah, we wanted to keep it uh, cool but uh, yeah. balanced because if <laughs> it's like uh, according to uh, reality, like everybody would be running just with this gun, and yeah. that's something. It would it would ruin the whole gunplay. Yeah, basically. yeah. So, so, so. so it's still cool, but uh, we kept it uh, uh -huh. balanced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much for the info. You're welcome. Uh, if I could just poke a little bit more into the weapon, specifically Do? about the ammo. Um, That's true. Yeah. It is a point. Definitely to mention that the ammo is different. Um, Michal, do you? We should have some of the ammo, <laughs> or did you not bring the tiger? I, I, I still have. I still have some. I haven't. I haven't wasted all of it. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, well, what, what also Philip mentioned, that um, bringing this weapon was a little bit of a scary experience, in that, um, as we've talked uh, very briefly, we wanted to make sure that the game, uh, that, that, that the weapon is balanced uh, for the rest of the game, for, for the rest of the, of the gunplay, uh, and other guns, and we realized that um, if we want to do with Taiga what we wanted to do with Taiga, and make it, you know, stand out in, in its own way, um, we can't do that with the uh, standard shotgun ammo that we had before. Mm -hmm. um, there was no way for us to, to balance it so that we were happy with it, so that it would work uh, compared to other shotguns, but also compared to other guns. Um, and so we ended up with uh, the decision of uh, bringing in new type of ammo for uh, shotguns, uh, specifically for Taiga 21, <laughs> um, and these are the combat shells. Um, so with this it allowed us to, to balance Taiga um, properly and mm -hmm. against all the other weapons without ruining the balance of uh, other shotguns as well. Um, so yeah, now um, you can look forward to uh, Snoop Run for a new type of ammo and mm -hmm. uh, stockpile on it, if, especially if you're going to be the Taiga kind of a person. Mm -hmm. uh, we did get a question on social media uh, in, in the earlier, like, not today, but recently, regarding the new weapons ammo, if it would be buckshot ammo, or uh, just shotgun shells, or how do we, I mean slugs, so do we have that information on hand, or is it something that we'll have to check into? Uh, I'm not sure about about this about all the certain technical aspects of calling the the ammo the proper way, mm -hmm. but what I know is that we have shotgun shells present in in vigor in vigor game, yeah. and the new ammo type is called combat shells. So basically, it's it's the same type of ammo, but not same. Uh, from the technical side, mm. uh, let's. I'm not not gonna give away too much of technical information, but uh, but uh, there are number. There is a big number of certain aspects that uh, a certain ammo type has that has to be balanced. And when another weapon, like when two weapons use the same type of ammo, uh, then then different parameters f parameters for the specific gun comes to play so it has to be it has to be like uh, working together the the ammo ammo <coughs> parameters the ammo, ammo things and also the weapon things and we just uh, we just weren't satisfied with how taiga was working with the particular type of ammo so basically it's the same it's the same type oh not not type it's it's uh, it's, it, a it just, it's, it's a variant. Varies, yeah, it just varies technically. It's a variant it's, of yeah. standard shotgun yeah. shells yeah. because it's a of that. uh, That's the word. It, it, it has yeah. pellets uh, mm -hmm. and it's not a slug. It's not a slug. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, it's it is just a different different type of shell. Yeah, exactly. It's essentially a, a, a regular comb it, It's essentially a regular shell which has been, so to speak, uh, tweaked for a specific use case. So yeah. you can you can consider it to be like a, a modded shotgun ammo that that works for a particular use case, but then. Essentially, the, the the use of it drops in in other situations. So, mm -hmm. um, it is optimized for the use with Taiga. It should bring uh, a really cool experience with the gun, hopefully. Um, and as we mentioned, it, it it shouldn't really break the the balance with other guns. That was uh, the point of introducing the new ammo. So, um, all in all, hopefully it's going to work well with with the gun, and uh, we'll see what's going to happen with it in the future. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you very much uh, for jumping into it. Uh, just very briefly, also wanted to mention, uh, we will try to be gathering questions from the chat and addressing them towards the end of the stream. Uh, but I know that this talk of the new weapon has been causing our outlanders to ask, what about the weapon overhaul? Yes, uh, it's still work in progress. Uh, we are diving into it uh, as a team and we are working diligently on it. So you can look forward to it in the future. Stay tuned. Yeah, I Definitely. may comment a little bit about it. Basically, we have foundation uh, of, of that wo uh, weapon overhaul, but there is still a lot of work to be done because it is like the huge part of the game and uh, we want to do it right. So that's why it takes some time, but mm -hmm. uh, it's work in progress. Yeah, it might get tedious from the other side uh, because you cannot see inside and see the progress. But, but it actually progresses every day. And we just had a playtest today, 
of a certain aspect. Mm -hmm. So so yeah, we, we, we see the progress every day and, and it's we have true miles when we say and miles to go. Yeah, Indeed. it's a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. but we will surely, you know, uh, say something, reveal a bit once we're ready. Mm -hmm. It will still take time, but uh, yes, we will look stay tuned. It. Yeah. Look out for it. <laughs> Just stay tuned. Um, and all right, so thank you so much for uh, the talk about the weapon and uh, also a brief touch upon the weapon overhaul. Um, perhaps I would like to ask you, Michal, if you could, you look like you're heading towards an exit, so <laughs> I hope you are going to that exit uh, so that we can discuss other things that are coming to this season and then we will do a brief uh, summary of what you can look forward to and then we'll take questions from the chat. Um, but specifically I'm asking Michal to exit, which you actually don't have to play too tactically because I don't think there was anyone in the <laughs> lobby <laughs> with you. You could just go stomping and running and it will be fine. No, 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 yeah, I was, I was all alone there. Are you it's upset? a sad no. outlander, yeah. I'm sorry <laughs> about that. It's a s sad, sad outlander life. Is it that sad though if you could grab all the loot? By yourself? Without any fear of something? And you're telling me now that I'm at the exit? Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> Notes for the future, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for listening to my TED talk. <laughs> um, <laughs> Alright, so while we are counting down to the exit, uh, I would like to ask Michal to, which is also your time to shine, Michal, uh, we could probably talk about the leaderboards once you get into the shelter, because yep. it is your forte, uh, because we will be indeed introducing new leaderboards with update 17.0, Vigor Chronicles Malediction. So we've already mentioned this uh, some time back. Uh, on our socials, on, on some of the streams, um, as one of the things that we want to bring in, that we were planning for this update. Um, and uh, recently we've actually even, uh, even even revealed a little bit um, to the players uh, what that would entail. Um, and so if I remember correctly, we've mentioned that uh, we're expanding the leaderboards to other game modes, but we didn't actually mention everything uh, about the leaderboards. Um, so um, we can also uh, have a look. I'm I'm not sure if uh, it's going to be better also for me to to showcase uh, a little bit of it in in the game or or just talk about it. But we we also could do both. Yeah, um, but obviously uh, it's going to look much much better for uh, all you players once you actually uh, dive um, deep into it. But as you can see already, um, what happened to leaderboards? Uh, we have practically reworked the entire system. Um, we've heard you folks uh, asking about that uh, for a long time and we we're really uh, interested in, in looking into it but we at some point realized that the previous system that we were using that we had uh, implemented um, was not enough for us um, to expand it in a way that we wanted uh, and we realized that we will need to uh, that we would need to rework the entire system essentially from the ground up um, and so we ended up moving the entire backend to a, home, a completely new, um, essentially a completely new architecture for, for the leaderboards. Um, and that also allowed us to actually do a whole whole bunch of stuff. Um, as we mentioned, uh, not only now you have uh, access to uh, leaderboards for every single game mode um, in a game, so not only encounter but also elimination and shootout uh, leaderboards. Um, but we've also extended uh, the leaderboards over uh, different time periods. Um, so whenever you reach uh, the leaderboards tab in uh, the Shelter UI, um, you will always start in the uh, in the encounter tab in in the weekly uh, time frame. But you can also then always check your uh, leaderboards um, for your seasonal um, time frame or like your seasonal leaderboards, and then you can also check your progress in the all-time leaderboards, where you can see uh, the stats from uh, the entire time you've been playing. Um, you might also see already in the uh, in the UI that uh, we have uh, here that um, the only thing so far that we can see in front of us is the uh, sp you know stats of this particular account, um, and we can't actually uh, see uh, yet the leaderboards themselves. 
um, there are certain onboarding uh, onboarding, onboarding uh, kind of procedures or how, how should I uh, call it and whatnot. So over time you've been uh, you'll be actually able to uh, once you play enough matches, you'll be actually included in the overall leaderboards and you will be able to see your progress uh, among other players. Um, as well, and all of this, as I mentioned, for different time frames and for different uh, game modes as well. Um, each game mode, obviously, um, but even though it's somewhat obvious, I'll I'll rather mention it. Um, each game mode will actually be tracking a different set of stats, um, and so those of you ha that have been playing uh, the game for a while will remember that we had uh, seven stats for uh, encounters before. Um, the fact that we've moved over to a whole new system allowed us to also go for more stats um, or you know different stats. Um, some of those are you will recognize from before. Um, some of those are going to be new, um, including obviously the stats um, for uh, elimination and shootout because we haven't been uh, tracking those before. Um, and so I'm gonna leave this up to you to uh, explore this a little bit more once you actually end up getting into the game after the update um, and uh, I hope you'll have fun uh, you know ranking up the the, the stats uh, climbing in the leaderboards um, competing every week and every season with our players um, and uh, and yeah there's one last thing that I'll mention uh, speaking of new stats um, I also won't go into details with this but we've also added a, a sort of a special stat which is the um, uh, the skill rating uh, stat. Um, this stat is supposed to give you a general overview of your progress uh, over time. Um, again, it works just like other stats per game mode and per uh, time frame. So you can then use this to check how you've been uh, performing every week, how you've been performing every season, um, and so on. Um, but again, I won't go too much into detail on this one. Um, we might uh, reveal a bit more information later, but um, just it, it's a little bit more abstract number rather than like encounters played or uh, you know uh, how many kills you score and whatnot. Um, so it's just there to give you a little bit more of a sense of progression in that sense. Um, and I suppose that's uh, basically all there is to it uh, in general. And like I said, I'll leave you guys to explore a little bit more and uh, and have fun with it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Michal, for going through that. Um, regarding the statistics, actually, because there's like weekly, lifetime, etc. How far back does the lifetime stats go? Because if you remember, uh, Vigor had, you know, before its release, we had the early access and then we fully released afterwards. So is it right to assume that the stats or the data from during that preview during the Founders pack time um, would not be counted in this round of stats? Yeah, well, I believe, as, as I mentioned, uh, there's uh, a bunch of stats that are completely new that we haven't been tracking before, um, which means that these stats will uh, actually be uh, starting from scratch, from basically like default values, zero, so, or, or whatever makes sense. Um, some of the stats that have been there before, uh, I believe, uh, should include the values um, that have been tracked until this point, uh, depending on, on, on the state of, of backend, because there have been you know changes made over time as well. Um, I believe, uh, and I'm and I'm trying to, to think of a specific case if there is one, but um, obviously, if there are stats that are you know um, relative sta uh, uh, stats um, that are counted based on the amount of, of encounters. Uh, or something like that. Uh, some of these stats might end up being uh, defaulted as well because it only makes sense if you count it over the same period of time. So if you actually make a, a relative stat out of two stats uh, and one has been tracked only this season, uh, it doesn't make sense to include it uh, or like include the data previously. So um, mostly, I, I would say in general, the experience will be that most of these stats will uh, start uh, from scratch because there's a whole bunch of new stats. Um, but yeah, then over time it will accumulate in the old time, uh, in the in the lifetime uh, time period, and obviously seasonal as well. So, and also the the new system will allow us to add uh, new stats to track uh, in future. So uh, we will be listening, and if you have uh, some cool ideas, or if we do have some cool ideas, uh, we will add uh, more 
stuff to to watch sure, for. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. For now, we don't plan on adding any new stuff. Uh, I mean, we've already added a lot uh, and expanded the functionality a lot. But uh, as Bina mentioned, uh, if the community really wants something, uh, this allows us to to make more changes than we could before. So um, we'll see how it's gonna go. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. So. Uh, when update 17.0 releases tomorrow, we'll be on lookout for every kind of feedback that you're sharing with us. So we hope that you're looking forward to it as much as we are. So yeah, let us know. Uh, as always, you can share it with us on social media. We always read through the chat. Uh, so just let us know once you get to it. Um, okay, uh, and maybe actually uh, another thing that would be great uh, if we could jump in, no, maybe we'll go into an encounter later since we're in the shelter right now. It would probably be good to jump into something else that is big and new and shiny, which is the booster tickets. Could I ask you to please uh, open up the shelter menu and go through the booster tickets while Zbigniew walks us through this lovely new feature? Yeah, uh, basically, we know that you like. Uh booster events as we have uh, for example double, double xp days etc and uh, basically this is what booster tickets uh, can allow you uh, to enable such double xp or uh, some some boosters out of these uh, special event days uh, this is interesting and important point it doesn't adapt at up to the double XP days, for example, so you cannot quadruple the <laughs> effect of double XP. Uh, if you buy, uh, for example, double XP ticket and activate it, uh, and then eventually it will come up to the double XP days, it will be put on hold and continue after these days continues. And uh, you can find also uh, tickets for insurance and all this stuff. So basically what you are already used to, if you buy uh, uh, these tickets or if you find them in, in crates or in a battle pass, uh, you are able to use it anytime you want. But basically, if you have, for example, insurance tickets and go to encounter and uh, pay for insurance and you already have a ticket, it will not be taken out uh, of your crowns. It will uh, consume the ticket. So uh, there is like more stuff uh, to to go through. Uh, description is in the game guide, but uh, it's definitely more options for you to, to boost your matches. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, Zbigniew, for running through And maybe it. also what I would mention, mm -hmm. uh, if you are like frequent user, for example, of the insurance or uh, these boosters, uh, basically, if you uh, buy a package of these tickets, uh, it will be cheaper than uh, than buy uh, boosters uh, for the single match, for example. So, uh, for these users, this is the best value, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can sa save some crowns. Yeah, that's always an amazing thing for our outlanders. <laughs> huh. um, I wanted to just ask if it was already mentioned that. Uh, what would the prioritization be if you bo if you had both the crowns and the tickets in your lobby? Which one? Yeah, I mentioned that uh, mm -hmm. if you have ticket, uh, ticket will be used uh, instead of your crowns. So mm -hmm. uh, if you have tickets, you are buying insurance, ticket is consumed and uh, your crowns are untouched. Mm -hmm. Thank you for reiterating on that, Zbigniew. It's very important information for our lovely Outlanders. So hopefully they are looking forward to it. I already saw some uh, hype in the chat. People were very happy. Um, and nice. there was a follow-up question regarding the booster tickets from crates. It's probably good to, to specify that you meant airdrop crates or like crates that you get from the... Um, from the food donations, not the in-game crates. So you, I don't think you can loot it in in a map, right? It's not not in a map. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So airdrop crates yeah. only. Yes. If you are opening crates in shelter. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Zvinyak. Uh All right. Anyone else want to add something to the topic of booster tickets? I think Spina covered it all essentially. Summed up pretty nicely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you so much for the questions in the chat i am cheating i was supposed to take them later on but i mean there are some really good questions coming up uh while we are streaming so i can't help it 
Um, all right, and actually, it might be a good time to quickly jump in because it is the year of Mirren, after all, and we did add Mirren to elimination. Uh, just another quick note, this is the preview build, so um, this is not how it will look like when it comes out publicly. It's magic. <laughs> uh, only the developers and Vigor partners can queue up and get in the game with us. And actually, I saw some... One second, can you cancel <laughs> the queue? I wanted to ask no. our partners. I'm no. already waiting for server. Oh no, because I wanted to see if some of our partners would like to jump in. Uh, because We're gonna go, We can go next one. Yeah, we could. Maybe it's probably going to be, it's gonna to be quick. It's yeah. going to be quick as heck. Uh, <laughs> because we do have some partners in the chat and I was wondering if they would like to jump in on a, in a in a uh, in an elimination match as well while we explore Mirren uh in elimination. But it's all right. There will be another time later for sure. Um, we, we can do this one as a sightseeing tour and then we can have a Oh quick yeah, one we on we one could someone. we could definitely do the sightseeing here. Um and I hope, can you, I was going to say, can you buy this core boost? Then I realized that you already, uh, we, we went in. It's okay, oh. doesn't matter. Um, right, so Zbigniew, could you please regale our outlanders of the challenges or the interesting things that the team has encountered when it comes to making Mirren yeah. in elimination? Sure, sure. Uh, first of all, uh, Mirren will be like the first map which has like all game modes. And that, that is true, mm -hmm. yes. So, and so, historically, first map that has mm -hmm. all elimination, shootout, and obviously encounter. And encounter. And um, as we are now introducing uh, elimination maps, uh, there is also something changing uh, for the encounter map because uh, we are finally unlocking uh, these new buildings and uh, one map of the of the Miran map uh, in elimination is placed there, so it's quite significant. And it was quite uh, challenging for us because these are new buildings, uh, fully equipped with, uh, with new stuff uh, and everything, so there is uh, some new assets there uh, to fully create the environment uh, to play encounter in. Sorry, elimination, but also uh, encounter because these buildings are uh, now unlocked also in in encounter mm. and uh, for now uh, we will be uh, introducing to you tomorrow uh, two maps uh, of elimination uh, for Miren and in the next update uh, we will uh, add even more uh, because these new are very unique uh, for the elimination uh, and uh, we decided to polish it even a little bit more so the 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 play style uh, of yours will be uh, rewarded properly. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much, Zbigniew, uh, for that. Michal, could I actually ask you to open up the mini map if possible, if you haven't already, so that we could try and show off this area of elimination or uh, this arena for elimination. Um, and there was a follow-up uh, question reg for you, Zbigniew. Uh, could we expect modifications to other maps too, in terms of encounters? It's not um, like modification that uh, the game style is vastly different. It's mm -hmm. more of like that uh, we modified part of the map to create uh, let's say, unique uh, arena for elimination. Mm -hmm. I don't want to uh, sneak peek uh, too much, but uh, <laughs> no spoilers. It's, it's not like modification <laughs> of whole mode. It's uh, more of a modification or unique uh, placement of the, of the arenas, mm -hmm. uh, which will be introduced later. Yeah, and I think that this was mostly focused on, on, on Mirren on our side in terms of we wanted to do more with the map. Uh, we really liked it, so we were looking for, for good and cool places where you can uh, add these arenas and um, we've ultimately agreed to even go the way of what we call now modifications of, of, of trying to come up with ways how we can actually uh, make some of the arenas that were already in the map more yep. interesting mm -hmm. for 
um, for game mode like elimination, for example. So um, it's it's more I would say it's more like because we really liked the map, so we decided to go this way rather than uh, doing this more uh, systematically with all the maps or, or something like that. Yeah, M Miran itself uh, itself uh, has like big potential, uh, like uh, very interesting places which can be used uh, for a variety of tactics. So that's why we decided to have uh, more uh, with some tweaks. Mm -hmm. We hope that uh, our Outlanders will really enjoy the new arenas because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Are you gonna... Ooh, that was, the, that was a painful revenge, Michal. Mm -hmm. Did you really... <gasps> <laughs> okay. Are Punk you going him. to... Are you gonna go back at it then? <laughs> it's a shame that you don't Slapping. have a pukko for this. <laughs> that is true. Slapping. But it's okay. Like, oh, who's gonna win? I wanna know. <laughs> got you good. But you, you both are oh. very. Oh, okay. That was close. That was very close. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, and we have someone in the chat saying there is no game sound. Yes, we are aware, and we are sorry for that. We prioritized starting the stream and doing the stream on time so that we could share as much information with you as possible as opposed to troubleshooting the game sound. Really sorry for the inconvenience of having no sound, but hopefully the next time it will be there. And Sounds uh, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you'll hear it tomorrow when the update goes yeah. live. Then You can just look forward to the Taiga sound, for see, example. A, a little bit of a, a, a scientific uh, kind of interjection here. You see, light travels faster than sound. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you going with that for some of our other outlanders who might need they, some? Well, you can, you, can, you can already see the <laughs> stream show today okay. and some yeah, yeah, tomorrow. tomorrow. You can already yeah. see the stream, you can you'll hear it yeah. tomorrow. You can even see the update before you can yeah. hear it. And right. Also see it tomorrow, of course, Ooh, again. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. it's going to be already there, right? Mm. Yeah, it might be a good uh, thing to mention as well that we are streaming on a Tuesday today because we are doing Trick or Treat Tuesdays uh, for October, for Spooktober mm -hmm. actually, so that's why we are streaming today as opposed to tomorrow and so that we could give our Outlanders the chance to play the update without being worried for missing the stream and like they could spend all their time in the game so <laughs> definitely something for you all to look forward to tomorrow <laughs> alright, okay uh Pa, pa, pa. Hopefully this elimination round will um, wrap up relatively quickly, but while Michal is running around in elimination on Miren, uh, I don't know if Michal... Oh, oh, that was... Uh, that was nasty. Well, <laughs> you, you said that they should wrap up soon. Yeah, I, I thought so, but I mean, it was very graphic. <laughs> I progress is good, but uh, it was very graphic. I was surprised. I was taken aback by it. Um, I'm actually not sure if Michal was able to open the mini-map earlier in an encounter, but it's also something that we should touch upon, that uh, the exit icon has been changed up in encounters. Um, so who would like to briefly mention the reasons or what happened with the exit icon? We'll, we'll hopefully have a visualization of it later on, but, uh, I yes. believe, I believe I managed to, uh, sneak in, uh, a sneak peek, uh, the at the beginning of the encounter where the map is open, and so mm -hmm. some of the Outlanders in chat might have noticed. Um, and also the new icon was presented in the leaderboards. Oh yeah. That is true. Yes. Yes. It's so, a color. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got flanked, I think. Uh, yeah. So, so th there was a change to to the icon. Um, in a sense, it's not really a big deal. There wasn't any particular big thing tied to it, except for one, um, and that was basically what what inspired us to do it because um, we wanted to bring in a little bit of a quality of life improvement, uh, which is that now. Uh, any locked exit that's on the map will be showing the resources that are needed to unlock it on the minimap. Um, and as we were doing that, uh, yeah, well, I mean, well, like, just we need to finish it soon, right? Uh, yes. And as we were doing that, uh, we realized that we weren't quite happy with how the uh, current or the previous icon for uh, exits um, looked, not just in terms of visuals, but also in how informative it was um, and how it would work 
with this indication of resources and we realized that we didn't really have a good way to to make it work um, together um, so ultimately we decided to rework the icon altogether um, and all the occurrences in the game um, so now it looks a little bit different uh, hopefully still intuitive enough mm -hmm. um, and uh, and yeah, and now another thing is that uh, whenever you check the minimap and there is a locked exit on the map, you'll see what you need to bring with you to unlock it. Mm -hmm. Since Philip mentioned that it was actually the icon was present in the leaderboards, it would be great if we could show that off real quick. But yep. first, I saw some messages in the chat with the partners would like to join us. Um, can we open the map UI for? I mean, the map select UI, the encounter select UI first, so that we can settle on a time. Uh, perhaps uh, when encounter for Anakin becomes. 21 minutes left, we'll queue up for elimination on Mirren. And now that means we are doing a really quick preview of how it looks like <laughs> in the leaderboards. Please. Two minutes. Go! Mm -hmm. It's easy. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, like, it was definitely important to point out that the color mm -hmm. is different. Yeah, it's, uh, it is the same color as it did bef as it had before. Uh, and, of course, here it's in, in the circle. It's, 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 uh, quite, uh, it's a, a little bit different. It's just, yeah, basically maybe the... The the one um, next to it, the survival rate, it has the little circle on the right bottom of the icon, right? So that's mm -hmm. that's basically uh, the, the rough, yeah, rough similar, positioning yeah, yeah. of the of the needed resource. Something like this. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it well, yeah, it's just basically the, the with the addition we wanted to to give it. Uh, the old icon didn't work too well, or or didn't work the way we needed it to. So just a slight rework. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, and just a reminder, Michal, we will be queuing up in 21 minutes oh, flat one. on yeah. elimination in Mirren. Um, pu -pu -pu. We did have some follow-up questions for the leaderboards, if it's all right to get you to answer them, Michal. Uh, it was the question of if the stats that the people have now will be wiped or reset, or how will it go? Well, for the obviously for the weekly and seasonal, um, those are going to be starting anew because it's going to be a, a, a new week and a new season. Um, for the old time, uh, as I mentioned, uh, a lot of the stats are completely brand new, so they haven't been tracked before. Um, some of the stats that have been tracked before, I believe most of them should be still present. Um, some of them might not be because, uh, again, as I mentioned, uh, they are uh, they might be tied to other stats that have been introduced uh, completely uh, uh, from you know uh, f from the season, and so what that means is that it wouldn't make sense to use the the old values uh, because it wouldn't correspond to to the new stats. So some of those might be reset, but considering that a lot of that is is completely new stats, you will mostly see it. As if it were reset, basically. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much, Michal, and we have. I hope that that answered the question. I think it did. I hope it did sufficiently as well. Although our outlanders are ready, like they, you could follow up if you would have any more questions about that. Uh, and we actually need to try matchmaking again, as our partners and uh, Archie, who is helping us play on the preview build, is actually saying that we need to start matchmaking again. So we need to pick a different time or let's pick a, pa, 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 a different way to figure out matchmaking <laughs> let's see oh uh, do you think doing it at 18 minutes should be enough i hope Perhaps. so on encounter anakin to queue up for mirror and limbs all right that's <laughs> literally a uh, tactic <laughs> to see <laughs> if we could all get into an elimination all at once. I hope it works out. If not, we'll try again in the future. Probably not in the stream, though. Um, but it would be amazing if we could get in so we could show off possibly other arenas that we've got for elimination so true, that uh, people so can look forward to it. Yes, indeedy. All right. Hmm. It might be time to actually get the questions from the chat. Uh, Unless, well, well, first let's run through what's definitely coming in with the newest update, which is releasing tomorrow, which is the fourth major update of the year. We are going to have a new battle pass, 
we're going to have the new weapon, we're going to have leaderboards and elimination arenas for Miran, and we will be also having the special charity pack for veterans. Uh, we hope that the team's explanations and details and background information on what's coming for the upcoming update tomorrow will be sufficient for you. Um, let's see what the questions are from the chat. And I see that you're, you've queued up, which is amazing. I hope we could get in. Um, we actually had a funny question, not exactly a uh, probably a serious one, but in the spirit of Spooktober, there was a request. Can we put a chupacabra to encounters to eat random players? <laughs> maybe maybe there is. Yeah. Maybe Never we know. didn't know. Wait, isn't oh, chupacabra yeah. Mexican? The, the, yeah, the geographic... That might be a <laughs> bit of a pickle. Hmm. Just mm. go out there and try Yeti. to find it. Wait, to, to, be, to, be <laughs> fair, to be fair, I already met some players uh, on, on, on live servers that acted like chupacabras. <laughs> <already. So laughs> eating me alive, so basically. So. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Ooh, we got into matchmaking, which is awesome. There, oh yeah, Archie was right. We had an odd amount of players earlier, which is probably why uh, we couldn't get in. Thank nice you. Nice outfits. Yeah, <laughs> they're all... I can also do the score boost. <laughs> are you <laughs> trying to flex? It means they're infin infiltrating a gang or something. I mean, <laughs> honestly, that might be the only thing that I'm going to be useful for this game, so I'm sorry <laughs> in, in advance, Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to focus on. <laughs> uh, on a bit of a more serious note in terms of questions, uh, in case it wasn't brought up, but we did get the question from the YouTube chat uh, from DJ Spencer. Will we be able to look back at past season stats for example when we're in season 18 we will will we be able to look at our season 17 stats actually yes Ooh, spicy that's good uh for the obviously it doesn't make sense for all time but for seasonal and weekly uh you should always see uh the value from the previous week or season respectively mm -hmm. nice so that's something that our outlanders can you look f can can look forward to. All right, and I'm so glad that we were able to jump in um, <laughs> in an elimination. Let's see if there are any other questions. Uh, if there will be new. Oh, and it's the other arena. Ooh, nice. Keep an eye out. Mm -hmm. Haha, wink wink. We haven't seen this one yet. Yeah. Will you be opening the mini map really briefly, please? Mm. <laughs> or not? I, mean, I guess no. you're just about to <laughs> die already. To. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> oh, Try not yes. to kill him mm. right now. <laughs> be nice. <laughs> imagine if. Uh, never mind. I was going to say, imagine if they were going to gang up on you, but I don't think Tiny has a choice, really. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I don't have my usual settings on the controller. That's it, it feels right. so slow. Mm -hmm. um, yes, so sorry, I got a bit distracted or sidetracked, but uh, the question, uh, if there will be any new titles considering that the leaderboard has new stats? I believe that the answer for now is no, we haven't got any new titles. Yeah. Oh, a link, link to the new stats. Yeah, we no. haven't got no. them. For now, no. For Not, for Not now. at the moment. Mm -hmm. But, you know, well, it's all up on the feedback, right? So if you Outlanders would be interested in seeing but it's new good titles. Idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. New titles or some new stats you'd like to see. We'd be so happy to collect <laughs> them and pass them on <laughs> to the team. Philip is writing it down. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, d designer making notes. <laughs> yes. uh, and we've got a question regarding Miran for elimination. Uh, is this a bigger elimination map slash arena than the other ones? I'm not sure if, like, I, I wouldn't say it's specifically bigger, but they're different. Um, so n now we've actually seen two arenas. Uh, you know, both of them play quite differently. Um, actually, if I quickly open up the, the minimap and not to die in the meantime, um, <laughs> you can actually see the starting positions and the objective position mm. in this map. Um, in the previous uh, elimination, uh, we could see the uh, the positions uh, as well. Um, so both of these maps, they have a bit of a different topology to them, and so they kind of require a little bit different strategies. Um, but uh, you know, we had we we put 
quite a lot of work into those and, and quite a lot of work into playtesting and getting the feel uh, for those arenas. So I believe that you all guys will like it and you'll enjoy it a lot. And uh, I hope you'll have a lot of fun in those arenas. Um, personally, like th th this one that we're currently in uh, is probably my favorite, personally. But uh, yeah, the in regards to the placing of the starting points and the and the flag, it's a little bit experimental and unconventional. And is unconventional the word. is the word. Yeah, that's yeah. that's it. And to be honest, it works really well. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got some love in the chat for the layout. They said that they like the layout of this one specifically. So, ooh, that ooh. is bright. Somebody's tactical. You've entered the Milky Way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hmm. So, hopefully, uh, if anyone else would like to send over their questions regarding um, elimination on Marin or any of the other new things that we will be adding with Vigor Chronicles Malediction, please feel free to send them. Uh, and they would, actually I just saw a question in the chat, uh, they would like reconfirmation on how many elimination arenas for Miran are coming out with update 17.0. Which I believe... Do we tell them? I mean, <laughs> yes. I mean, we can... I just, I, I, I'm, I'm just enjoying the fact that everyone is silent. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen too often, right? <laughs> mm. But I mean, like, uh, I believe that we've seen two so far, and yeah, yeah uh, that's true. There will be, we would see what we could do for another update, perhaps, and see what we could do with it, right? I mean, yeah. Uh, apparently, we're gonna have to do something about it since they're asking. Mm. Yes, Vinyak. And please. I mentioned maps, which is more than one. Mm. <laughs> so they've well, seen we've two. already seen two, so... <laughs> so <like. it's laughs> I, g I get where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And we also have a question about the cassettes, if we will be having any new ones. No, not with this season. We are not having yeah. any new sets of cassettes or tapes this season. Um, and about the booster tickets, is it possible mm. to pause a double XP booster ticket, for example, or do you have to use it like uh, straight in the 24 hours? Like, can you pause it manually yourself? No. Mm -hmm. w like once once you enable that, uh, you will see uh, in a in a lobby or in in a map uh, overview how long it will last. And only way how it's paused is uh, during the the events which collide with the with the specific ticket. Mm -hmm. So when an when an event starts, uh, event starts, and you, you will you have an ongoing double XP. Yeah, ticket. yeah. Uh, for for example, d double XP if you have it enabled and you have uh, for example eight hours remaining mm -hmm. and uh, double XP event. Uh, kick off uh, the the eight hours will resume after the the event uh, ends, so you will not uh, lose nice. your time. Uh, but you cannot manually pause it mm -hmm. because uh, then you would just enable it for the yep. for the specific moment when you play, and uh, that's not like what we want really. <laughs> Like once once you have uh, the the, the you booster, can always, you can always choose when you want to s activate it. Yeah, yeah. you you yeah. can choose when when you activate it, but once you activate it, it's for the time you activate mm -hmm. it for. Mm -hmm. And just to remind some Outlanders who may not have heard it earlier, but those booster tickets can be purchased uh, while you're in the shelter, and you should also be able to get them from crates that you receive from the airdrop, the ones that you open in your shelter. So just a heads up on how you could get those booster tickets. Um, pa, pa, pa. And an interesting question about the leaderboards, if Outlanders will be getting any rewards because they're at the top of the weekly or seasonal leaderboards. I don't believe that there is, we don't have any like rewards set for someone being on top of the weekly leaderboards. I mean, personal satisfaction and breaking rights are very valid. <laughs> <laughs> And the skill rating. Yeah, but uh, like, like a cosmetic or something. No, Outlanders will not be receiving uh, something as a prize for being yeah. at the top of those no, leaderboards. No, not, not, not for now. Uh, we are not really planning that. 
we'll see, but uh, we'll see how it yeah. goes. Uh -huh. But it's not in the in the plan. Mm -hmm. And a brief question about this specific elimination arena for uh, Mirren will probably be where are the chupacabra? <laughs> they said encounters, but chupacabra where? <laughs> in Mexico. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> All maybe, right. Maybe he died during the nuclear apocalypse. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, you mean like it was yeeted all the way across Oh, Atlantic. now you... Well, okay. <laughs> we actually have a heads up as well from one of our Vigor partners that uh, the booster tickets should also be available from the Battle Pass, which is, yeah, a good point. Thank you for uh, reminding us about that. Yeah, it was, it was mentioned, but... Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I, that's, that's I, I missed it out. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Uh, or we could add a wind windigo, not a chupacabra, but a windigo. windigo. I think that's also North American. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I think they're just going to throw in different um, <laughs> creatures <laughs> from folklore and uh, try and see if we could manage to squeeze it in. Find find some Nordic one, right? I mean, we've got. There is a lot of those, by the way. Yeah. Ooh, I guess we're testing and seeing if the chat knows <laughs> any now. Let the begin. Yeah, nice Google. ploy. <laughs> Nice freaking ploy. Oh, they said Bigfoot, but <laughs> that's not... <laughs> Yo, wait, the game is in Norway. <laughs> no way! <laughs> you can do better than that. I can, I just, I just jumped at the opportunity. Mm -hmm. That's what heroes do. <laughs> and Bigfoot. And Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good mention from Clumsy Mama that there are trolls, which we have as mementos uh, in in the game, mm -hmm. but also like in terms of folklore, yes. And I think it's Neken? Neken? I am butchering it. I am very sorry. I do not speak I'm not sure about that one. Norwegian, but there's also Holder and again oh, Neken. Yeah, now oh we yeah. have to Google it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hmm. We asked for it. We are, yeah, um. we oh, and... Domtar, uh, for example. That could be cool. Ooh. Okay, interesting. Uh, whoa, and I'm sorry to disrupt the discussion about different <laughs> stuff from folklore that we could have in an update, but um, with the booster tickets, can you use them any time, or is it season-based, that you have to use it when you bought it during the season and it doesn't carry over? It should last, like it's not season-limited. I mean, it's not tied to, to a season. It's, yeah. it's your you, you, it's you in buy your it, stash. You buy it or you, you, yeah. you get it from the box, it's, it's yours. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much for clarifying that for yeah, our Yeah, it's audience. it's like the same mm -hmm. way as you obtain crowns, mm -hmm. you don't lose them mm -hmm. after the season ends. So yeah. so this this is basically basically the same logic. Mm -hmm. And we actually got some feedback uh, from one of our partners, G40 Chris, although it's not visible in the public chat. Uh, he was saying that there's uh, great points for this season and they are very excited to see the new season and also more ideas from other Outlanders. So kudos to us, big pats on the back for <laughs> our team that we um, did amazingly with this update and we hope that our Outlanders will enjoy it tomorrow because it comes out tomorrow. It's packed. Yes, mm. it is. It definitely is. Da, da, da. And also, yeah, we got a question earlier if it would be okay to show the premium packs on the stream, but unfortunately we can't, I don't believe so, not with the preview build, so you'll have to keep your eyes peeled for tomorrow's update. <laughs> fortunately, it's not too far off. Yeah, it's <laughs> literally tomorrow, which uh -huh. uh, it's unbelievable. It's, it's great. Up. Tomorrow is Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween, but Halloween. close. Yeah, yeah close. almost. Still <laughs> almost Halloween. Spooky season. We are season. getting there. Yeah. Eventually, we shall get there. I, I think I'm starting to hear the song which shall not be named. No, no, no. <laughs> no not yet. Let's let's ah. get through Halloween first. Um, but we also, uh, yeah, what time will the update be coming out? Well, tomorrow we will be having the server maintenance. Uh, we will be releasing uh, news or... Uh, social media posts regarding the server maintenance tomorrow as usual we should start at I believe 9 a.m. UTC 
the usual schedule as, yeah. as we are used to. Like we are not changing it. Yeah, I'm just worried that th if the clock's already changed or not. Uh, ah, oh, that's, a but that's a good point. It's that time of the year. Because, because <laughs> I came to realize that with all the modern technologies that do that for you, I, think I never it know. It will happen yeah. Yeah. this yeah. weekend. The, the, the thing is, uh, in our uh, time zones, it's uh, changing this uh, weekend, yes. but uh, it's different for, for uh, ah, Americans. All right, yeah. all right. Oh, then yeah. yeah, let's make it even more complex. I mean, like, yeah. you'll could be changing there time is, every there single is, time. There is uh, two weeks difference, so <laughs> you guys uh, from. Uh, America, tell us if you already changed your time. <laughs> <laughs> or if it will get there. We haven't yet. We, we are mm. going uh, to do that this, this weekend. Yeah, I actually just checked and uh, yeah, it should be 8 o'clock UTC, which is when the servers should go down and then we will work on it and we will keep you updated as we always do on our social media once you can enter and venture out in the Outlands. Uh, all right, GGs, thank mm -hmm. you so much for that game. Uh, thank you everyone for tuning in, and we hope that you enjoyed this information shared uh, on today's Dev Diary stream. Uh, would anyone have any closing remarks they would like to tell our, our Outlanders before we head off for the night? <laughs> Otherwise, I will be have going... Have fun to tomorrow! Uh, Keep the feedback coming, yeah. guys. Mm -hmm. And stay as awesome as you are. Yeah, plenty of new stuff, so... Plenty of potential feedback, please. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah awesome. and, and a lot of it, basically, a lot of these ideas also came from community as well. So mm -hmm. um, I yeah. really hope that you all out there will, will enjoy it, that um, you're already looking forward to, uh, to play this update. Um, and yeah, um, the n whether it's the, the new uh, Mirren uh, arenas or the leaderboards um, or all the cool cosmetics from Battle Pass, I'm, mm. I really hope that you'll have fun. Mm -hmm. yeah, good Spooky fun, obviously. Yeah. Good <laughs> point, <laughs> actually, this Michal. Halloween. Like We were getting a lot of community feedback that they would like spooky-themed battle pass or spooky-themed seasons, so uh -huh. we are Spoo doing what we can to deliver. Maybe let us know uh, which like uh, asset uh, of cosmetic, I I cosmetic is, is uh, your favorite uh, for mm -hmm. the spooky season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could let us know. We actually have a community corner uh, ongoing. We posted it on Sunday, so we're looking for the best spooky screenshots. So you can also, you could just, you could show us, you could tell us, and you can send it over for that community corner on our social media, and then nice. possibly have a chance to win some crowns. So that's always good. All right. Thank you, dear guests, for taking the time to be on stream with us, uh, our lovely Outlanders. Uh, thank you, Outlanders, for tuning in to um today's stream we will be having another stream next week actually on tuesday as well as a part of trick or treat tuesdays for halloween so we hope you stay tuned for that thank you so much and we'll see you in the outlands bye bye, bye. bye. See you guys.